how long does it take for you to start something and then quit? I'm not talking about going to the gym and trying to lose some weight. I'm talking about something for God. When you start something and you hit opposition, how long does it take before you say, you know what, this probably wasn't God's will anyway. I'm just gonna go back to doing whatever I did before. It might be devotions, it might be praying, it might be getting up and you know, doing something for God. How long before you say, oh, I just couldn't do it? That tells you how much stick to you have. And if you don't have too much stick to you're never gonna succeed spiritually. In Ezra chapter four, the Bible says that the Samaritans didn't want this re temple rebuilt. And so they came in, they said, you should stop building this temple. The people said, I'm not gonna stop building the temple. Then the Samaritans wrote a letter to the king, King Artaxerxes, and they said, you know what? These people have been rebellious in the past. You look at the other kings they had before they were in exile. They're not gonna pay taxes. They're not gonna pay tribute. They didn't know that, they were saying it. You should look into this. And so Artaxerxes says, okay, I'll look into it. He looked at the past, he said, yeah, there have been some bad kings in the past. He wrote a letter, <laughs> he said, look, stop building the temple. And they said, all right, king said we had to stop. So God sent two prophets, Haggai and Zechariah. And Haggai says, you people are all saying that it's not time to build the temple. Like maybe God wants us to do this another year, another decade, another generation, but it's just not God's timing. He says, interesting, it is time for you to live in paneled homes, to build your houses up, but it's not time to build his house. Zechariah comes along and says, well, look, you know, if you don't do this, God's going to judge you. And then, you know what they did? They started to build the temple again. Well, the Samaritans didn't like it. They wrote a letter now to Darius, who's the king. And then in response, the Jewish people wrote another letter to Darius. They said, look, you look back in the annals, you'll see that Cyrus told us to build this temple. Believe it or not, they went to the library and they found where you know, a generation earlier, Cyrus had told them to build the temple. And Darius says, you know what? Not only am I gonna tell you to go build a temple, I want you to build it strong, and I'm gonna give you more of the stuff that we stole from you two generations ago. And he says, go and build your temple. The amazing thing about that is, if they had just quit, now they had some, they did quit for a while, but then they had a couple prophets come along and say, keep going, they did. They never would have rebuilt that temple. But we in our own flesh do the same thing. We get encouragement to go and pray or to read God's word or do something, and then it gets hard. We hit some opposition, like we get tired or we forget or, or something like that. And then we just say, I don't need to do that anymore. It's okay. And we quit too soon. Sometimes we think because something is hard, it's not God's will. That was initially what they thought. It must not be God's will because this is so hard. Hogwash. Going to the cross was hard. Planting the early church was hard. Taking the children of Israel out of Egypt to the, pro to the promised land was hard. Everything you see God orchestrating in the Bible was hard. It wasn't easy. And yet, God's planning these things and telling people to do it. In your life, what are you tempted to quit? What good thing did God start in you that you say, you know what, I'm just gonna throw the towel in. This is too hard. It's too soon to quit. It's not God's will for you to quit. God doesn't want you to quit. He says in his word this, faithful is he who calls you who also will do it. If God called you to do something, he called you to finish it and complete it. My challenge to you today is this, don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit.